Hey everyone, and welcome to day five of my horror movie review marathon, and I've got The Strangers Pray at Night movie review. A family is staying at a trailer park and find themselves tormented by the masked strangers who have been committing various crimes as before. Will this be a worthy sequel? So as far as the story goes, if you guys had seen last year's horror review marathon, I had previously reviewed The Strangers and I had seen it countless times before. I still feel like to this day I am haunted by that film and when I heard that they were making a sequel and the movie was finally going to be released and I feel like it was in production hell at one point and I was thinking how could they possibly top its predecessor and unfortunately when the family in this movie are being stalked by the masked trio they come with a lot more ridiculous baggage than I feel like that one married couple from the last movie did and that's saying a lot considering that they seem to be the only ones in this movie which is absolutely ridiculous. So they're in this secluded area of a trailer park and nobody seems to be around and things are happening left and right as we would expect. I was just sucked into watching this movie because I wanted to see how this was all going to transpire and it pretty much leaves me thinking that the filmmakers uh, didn't exactly have a clue of you know what they really wanted to accomplish with this movie that would at least be considered unique and not just a completely different killer scenario. So as far as the casting goes, you've got uh, a few people that I would definitely recognize uh, being in films or even TV shows over the years. You've got Martin Henderson who plays uh, the dad and the husband and obviously I liked his character uh, much better in The Ring. So it's really cool to see that he did return to the horror genre uh, even though I feel like he didn't get as much to do and I feel like it was more or less heroic looking. Uh, you've got Christina Hendricks who plays his wife and the mother to their kids and I would say that maybe the horror genre was not one of her strong suits. I really didn't find her character to be very believable and it just felt very forced especially with her reactions unlike Liv Tyler who I definitely praise to have a, at least a legitimate genuine reaction to the horror going on around her. And you've even got Bailey Madison who I had previously seen in Don't Be Afraid of the Dark especially when she was younger but now she's a little bit older and maybe you think that you know even if she's playing a teenager she kind of seems really grouchy and how is she possibly going to survive this attack and I, I don't know it just I didn't really take her as seriously as well in this movie. Now the things that I liked about this movie was that there are some jump scares so at least I was happy about that because the whole point of watching this movie was to be scared and at least give me the feeling that I did watching the first movie at least in part even if there were a couple shocking moments that just left me like that. I at least liked that that part uh, of the creepiness was consistent with the first movie and there were a couple intense moments as well that I probably had my jaw dropped at one point. I really don't remember. Maybe that's a bad thing about this movie is that I don't even remember how I reacted because most of the time I wasn't really reacting. Now unfortunately the things that I didn't really like about this movie was that it was slow moving in the beginning. I did get bored watching this a few times probably because I was so used to figuring out like okay what's going to happen now and history definitely repeats itself when you have this 
really shady looking chick who is actually in shadow coming to your door you can't turn on a light you're gonna answer it and I'm just thinking is this gonna be one of those like dating in the dark scenarios but then uh, the waiter is the only one that has the night vision goggles that clearly did not happen in this movie the protagonist just had a whole bunch of idiotic behavior that really didn't change and I was just like oh my god God, what are you gonna do with these three antagonists? I mean, it was just insane to watch. So overall, I would say that this movie, uh, I didn't have a lot of high expectations seeing it because I still feel like the first movie was much scarier than this at least. So I would definitely recommend seeing that over seeing this. And this could definitely be a skip altogether unless you really don't care. So I would give this two and a half hearts on the heart rate scale. So let me know in the comments what you guys thought of The Strangers Pray at Night. And come back tomorrow for day six of my horror movie review marathon. And as always, you guys can subscribe to my channel. I've got more movie reviews, movie updates coming every week for a Trail Thursday video. You guys can also like me on Facebook and follow me on Twitter. And I will see you guys later.